Hi, my name is Aubrey Millard. Welcome to this short tutorial on modeling a leather throw pillow. What you can see here is our final result and uh, what we're going for. Again, this is going to be a basic tutorial just covering the actual modeling. We're not going to get too much into uh, texturing and whatnot. So we'll begin. We'll reset our scene. And we're going to start by uh, drawing out a small box. Now it doesn't really matter what size it is, but I like to stick with real world dimensions just to make things easier. So for this, I'm going to draw out a box 12 inches by 12 inches by 4. Now once we have our box, I'm just going to stick this right back into the center of the world here. Once we have our box, we uh, need to give it some uh, segments. So we need quite a few segments to make things look a little more natural. So for this, I'm going to give it 20 length segments, 20 width segments, and 10 height segments. Now you can play around with that a little bit, you know, reduce them if you want to reduce the number of polygons that it's going to have to draw when it's rendering. Now that we have our uh, box drawn out, we're going to uh, add a relax modifier onto it. So this is going to give us a soft shape. So for the relax value, put that as 1, and then iterations will uh, make that 10. And you can see the result from, from doing that. So it's nice and rounded now, but it's uh, you know not really looking like a pillow. So what we want to do is we want to take these edges and we want to bring them bring them together a little bit to give it more of a pillow shape. So what we'll do is we're going to add a FFD modifier on top of this. So pick FFD box. Now we want to set the number of points because what we have there isn't quite what we want. So for this, just set six length segments, six width segments, and just three height segments. Silly OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pinch these edges in. So first, marquee select, oops, oh, I forgot, select control points, and then marquee select edges here and then bring them down so you can see how on the outer edges it's pinching them in to about there and then select the other outer edges and bring them up to about there that's starting to look pretty pretty decent. Okay, now we're just in our front viewport, so we have to switch over to the left viewport and do the same thing. Now what you can do is bring the uh, control points to where you, you did on the other side, so you can just line them up. You don't have to worry about being that exact, because things in real life aren't that exact anyways. Bring it up. Now you can see how it's got a bit of a dip in here. So we're going to take that out. We're going to give it a more rounded appearance. So the next set of control points on the inner side, marquee select those, and we'll bring those down. And you can see how it's giving us a much nicer rounded pillow shape. And then we'll do that on the bottom. Bring those up. Again, we'll switch viewports into the left viewport, and again, we're going to do the same thing. And again, we can use our other control points as a reference. Bring them down, and then the bottom ones, bring them up. That looks pretty good. Check it from both sides. As you can 
see we're starting to get a nice pillow shape now. And that's looking not too, too bad. If you want to make any fine adjustments, you just pick the control point and it'll allow you to modify it a little bit here and there. You know, just for whatever you like. Okay, it's all personal preference. Now, once we've got to this point, we've pretty much finished modeling the actual pillow itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to collapse their stack. Okay, now you can see how it's, you know, the geometry is kind of showing through and it doesn't look very smooth, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Now, we've got an edible mesh. Convert that to an edible poly. And we're going to turn on edged faces, F4. And then select edge. Now we're going to come down and we're going to go to the very center edge. Right here. And then go down and see a C loop. And you can see how we've now created a loop that edge all the way around. Now once you've got that, scroll down until you see create shape from selection. Because we want to create that nice ridged bead you see on uh, some of the leather pillows. So I'll click that, give it whatever uh, name you want, and then leave it as type smooth. You can go linear, but we want it, uh, we want it nice and smooth. Click OK. Now what we want to do is just hide our pillow for a second so that we can see uh, what we're doing. So go hide selection and there we're left with our editable spline. Now this is really simple. All you do is under the rendering click enable and render, enable and viewport and boom we have a nice edge. Now that's a little big. So right now it's set to one inch, which is one unit, and I'm going to drop it down to about a quarter of an inch. And that looks a lot better. You can up the sides if you want more detail, but I don't really think it's necessary in a model like this. So now that we've uh, got our edge, we go back and unhide all. Turn off our edged faces, and there. We've got a nice bead running around our pillow. So select the pillow again, and we're just going to attach the bead we just created so it's all one object. And again, now we've got to take care of all this geometry that's kind of showing through. It's not very smooth. So we'll go over to uh, here and we're going to apply a smooth modifier. think that looks kind of ugly don't don't worry just click auto smooth and there we've got it all nice and smooth the way that we want so that's not looking too too bad actually that looks that looks pretty good all right I just we'll throw a basic texture on it just a standard texture is fine for now in the diffuse channel Click that little button so that we bring up a bitmap. Now in the arc material, arc architectural materials, scroll down until you find a nice leather texture. I like this light brown leather one kind of nice and it shows off the texture fairly well. So we select that. Now we're using real world map scale and if we leave it at one inch it's gonna it's not gonna look very realistic so I'm gonna bump that up to four. Go back up into the main material and go into the maps rollout and select your bump right here. Again we're gonna pick another bitmap but this time we're gonna pick map to put in the bump slot. 
so that it gives us a, a texture, a little roughness to it. We've got that in the bump slot. Now remember, you've got to uh, change this because we changed the first texture. So we switch that back over to 4. Now we're back at the main, give it a name, and then enable to show the map in viewport, the material in viewport, and then assign. And there you can see we have our nice leather pillow with that bead. You can see the texture. Actually doesn't look too bad. Anyhow, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope, uh, I hope it helps you. Thanks very much.